Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Again, visibility, we need sectors that will push for LGBT inclusion. Like fashion, entertainment. Importante, importante yan. Kaya we need to also educate brands kung paano ba dapat nire-represent ang LGBT people sa mga commercials, sa mga endorsements. Yung iba kasi uh, pink baiting or parang ginagamit lang nila to, to tell. Ginagamit lang nila yung LGBTs to tell stories and kunyaring concern pero they don't really practice inclusion in their companies. So we just need to educate them na kung talagang concerned sila sa community and they tell the stories of the community, they have also to practice what they preach. Kasi importante ang mga brands, um, meron silang big voice. Um, nag influence sila ng marami. So, kung ano man yung lumabas sa mga ads nila, sa mga kwento nila, maraming makakapanood, maraming makaka-influence, maraming may influensyahan because they're capable of changing beliefs. Totoo, so, yeah. kailangan talagang um, hey, may educate. Oh. Uh, that's true. Um, lahat ng sinabi mo, um, I, we went through that, the management, me and my partners. Um, napagdaanan namin yan, we thought about it a lot of times na ano ba, um, should be close it close down the business you know um focus na lang online yung mga um sara na yung physical store and all but um at the end of the day mas siguro nangibabaw yung um kasi in this trying times mas nangibabaw yung love namin sa staff syempre hindi lang naman kami yung inisip na we have to consider our staff most especially because um, kami lang yung naasahan nila, eh, you know, and they have families to support. So, mas nangibabaw yun. And um, every time naman, we're lucky, every time that we ask for a sign or we pray to God na kung ano bang dapat gawin to give us grace to guide us and what to do. Lagi naman yan, you know, He always answers our prayers, show us the way. And it will always lead to, not to close, not to close, just, you know, just keep on going, just keep on going, keep on doing what you do. And um, happy naman kami kasi tinatakilig pa rin naman ng tao, you know? Madami pa rin naman, madami pa rin naman nag-order through Grab, madami pa rin nag-order through online. And kahit na gano'ng kadelikado ang sinasabi ng government to go out, marami pa rin, may, may, may mga ilan ang nagda-dining pa rin. Mga senior citizen ang titikas ng ulo kumakain pa rin, you know? So, <laughs> Yeah, siguro yung very, ano, very, isa sa mga reasons bakit talaga hindi namin malet go yung physical store. Kasi nakikita namin na talagang may ibubuga pa eh. We had so much more mm-hmm. to offer. Marami, madami pa kami kailangan pagdaanan. It's just that we're in the middle of a pandemic. And this will pass. Yes. This will pass. Oh, this correct. Will pass. Pero alam mo, uh, I was in, na, 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 take to yung aking imagination when Toretto was saying na para no para in a very spiritual way na may, may, meron namang answer palagi no sa yes. sa ganito mga challenges oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. diba I like- looking back i really don't know how it all started for me ha yung mga ganyang mga relationship with a girl um siguro ang pinaka main reason ko would be influence ng friends ganyan hindi as you can see hindi naman ako boyish looking I don't dress like like a boy, you know, pati yung galaw ko and all. So, um, growing up, hindi, hindi ko makonsider yung self ko na, na parang gay, ganyan, or tomboy, or ganyan. So, it's more of, nadadala ka lang because nalalaman mo na, oh, Tonet, may crush tayo si ganito, and then makakatanggap ka ng letter from like, or from your secret admirer. Ganyan! <laughs> So I think that, that's how it started for me. Kung bakit ako napunta sa path na yon. Mag, mag-start talaga kami friendship muna. Oo. Hindi, hindi, hindi kami nahirapan to really fit in. Kasi nga, everyone's doing it in our school. So aware sila, very natural, very parang common yung ganung type of relationship. Um, to them, it also means companionship as long as it doesn't go beyond the companionship. Yun yung okay lang sa kanila. In some way kayo, I don't know kung na-experience niyo to, siguro that time na hindi, hindi, kung or out na kayo dati pa, siguro ako parang 
90% lang yung hinga ko. And then, nung nag-out ako, super, iba na yung the way I breathe, the way I, ano talaga, as in, saka the more na nag-out ako, mas nakilala ko na, eh, mas naintindihan ko na yung sarili ko. I mean, Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. I think pag parents mo, pag magulang mo, alam naman nila eh. Alam yes, naman nila. Yes. Hindi mo na kailangan talagang mag-explain or umiyak pa. Alam naman nila. So, Yeah, we're just lucky and fortunate and blessed to have families and friends na natanggap kami without even explaining. So after after yung acceptance from the family, lalo na dun sa side ko, I lost my mom 15 years ago. So, ang talagang nakakita na lang ng relationship is my dad and my two sisters. So, ang saya nung feeling na finally na-accept na eh. Na-accept na ng dad ko and my sisters, yung partner. Ngayon talaga parang I don't care na of what other people say or think. Correct. Um, yeah, I don't really care na. All I care about is yung the people who matters. I mean my circle, meaning my family, my closest friends. As long as they accept me, they love me, and they accept my partner, and they love her, then you know that's all. That's all I care. Yun yun na importante. Other people when they ask. Um, bakit wala kang asawa, ang tanda mo niya, or wala kang anak mo niya. I have a girlfriend, I have a partner. Ano na ako, mas comfortable na ako of, of seeing it. Mas comfortable na ako of sharing it. I, at this point in my life, I believe I am empowered. Um, because, you know, I'm in control of my own life. I don't allow others to control it for me. When I want things done, Um, I make it happen. I don't wait around. And I make time for myself. I make time for the things that I want to do and I'm passionate about. So I believe yun, yun lang naman ang mga dapat mong gawin to, to keep you alive, to be happy. Um, for me, yun ang empowered. And as naman a business owner, as a leader, um, as a um, operations manager, um, I empower others, my staff, to helping them you know, reach new heights. You know, it is my job to really find um, kung ano yung potential nila and kung anong what's lacking in them to develop it and to provide them with the things that they need, like um, providing them with um, trainings, mga, um, kung ano yung mga kailangan nila for them. And um, of course, I appreciate them. I believe na, uh, I believe na, One person can work more or do more when you appreciate them. So yes, I believe at this point in my life, I am an empowered, um, out and proud LGBT person. Ano laging ganyan? When you're, panag, panag out ka kasi nag, lum, lumiliwa na gamon to. You understand? Agreed, you, agreed. And you mature, I guess. No? Para you realize, mm-hmm. ano ba yung mga mahalaga sa akin? Sino ba yung mga taong mas mahalaga para sa akin? Kailangan ko ba makinig sa mga ingay sa labas? o yung mga komento at mga mensahe ng mga taong mahalaga sa puso ko, di ba? So, doon mo na-feel. Uh, we, we, we want to espouse diversity talaga and inclusion. Kasi para it, it has a personal connection ala, agad-agad sa tao mo. Di ba, Tonette, kung meron may, kang restaurant na parang feel na feel nila na mag-express na ang kanilang sarili, hindi mo, hey, bawal yan, bawal yung ganito na, bawal ang babating ba dito, eh, performer naman siya, magaling naman siya mag, magkahera, magaling naman siya magluto. Kailangan ba i-take against that person yun? ba? Diba? So, so I think, and it, 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 the culture that you create, I guess, that's, that's actually the, the, uh, a bigger question, ba? Diba? Ano ba kultura? Na kultura na bawal to, bawal to, o kultura na we, we accept everybody as long as uh, whatever expression you have, basta, basta you can deliver for the company. You 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 know your target. So, so I think that's that's this kind of conversation uh, is is very important. Lalo na nga sa inyong dalawa na business owners, di ba? May mga pinatanak mo kayo, may mga tao kayo. Don't give up. Alam yan, it's okay na magfail, but you try again. Alam yan, it's okay. Because it's okay. Well, number one, it's okay to fail. Because we have friends, we have family, and then just try and try. The best, you know, message na I can um, impart 
would be love yourself. Yan ang pinaka-importante. Love yourself. Mahalin nyo ang sarili nyo. Accept, accept everything about you. Love everything about you. Your imperfections, your flaws. Um, yun lang eh. You can really truly love somebody lang talaga. Another person. If mahal mo ang sarili mo. So y- yun lang naman basically um, sa buhay. Mahalin mo ang sarili mo at anggapin mo ang sarili mo. Lahat ng you know, imperfections mo, lahat ng flaws mo. And um, yes, tama yun sabi ni Chet, don't give up. Um, in this time of the pandemic, lalo na it taught us na ako, personally, it taught me not to lose hope. Always be hopeful. Always be hopeful. Yeah, so wag mawawala yung pag-asa. Wag mawawala yung pag-asa sa araw-araw because si God naman will not give us something that, you know, hindi natin kakayanin. So better days will come. Wag lang tayo magigive up easily, and um, always be kind. Choose to be kind. Choose to be happy every day. Make every day count. Yun lang naman sa pandemya ng eto ang dami nating natutunan. So basically that's it. Ang simple lang. Pero you know every day means an mahirap gawin. But let's try. Let's try every day to make every day count. Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.